feels like a book. Oh, comic book. Okay, like comic book. You like comic books? <laughs> I am of a different generation. I love comic books. My past that owns Eric. Uh, these are some old, old comic books. These are detective comics. Uh, Batman way back with with the first Robin. Seventy. Early to mid seventies. Comic books have become very popular again. In fact, the largest uh, opening movie box office film of all time is out right now. In fact, I talked to a guy yesterday who's already seen it three times, The Avengers. I haven't seen it yet. It's coming here to Northwood next week, the week after next. It's uh, worth seeing. I've heard it's worth seeing. Uh, based on a comic book. You know what's interesting about comic books? It ain't real. Like TV. You ever watch, you watch those shows on TV and they solve all of the world's problems in an hour. I can't solve one of the world's problems in a week. But they get it all wrapped up completely, you know, absolutely who done it. Or somebody has this dreadful disease, they get healed in an hour. It's not real. If you watch the situation comedy, they solve a problem in a half an hour. They're faster and you have a laugh track. But it's not real. We need to get a grip on reality. What is real in our world? is a people, flesh and blood human beings like us, within walking distance of this building, are dying and going to hell. That's reality. And we have the truth. We have the message. We have the antidote. We have salvation. We can share Jesus with these people. So that they can come to salvation, so that they can come to faith, so that they can know that when death comes, they will have an eternity in heaven. So think about that when you're watching the Avengers or reading Batman or uh, watching your TV. You need to be involved in the ultimate reality. That is, that God exists. That God loves. That God cares. And that God wants to use your life to share that message with us.